Powers and Roots Indices with Adam Mash Tutor. Here are the beginner questions. These are the questions most likely to be seen at the start of an exam. Write the following using index notation. 12 times 12 times 12 times 12. 12 is the base number, which has been multiplied by itself, itself, and then itself again, meaning that this would be 12 to the power of 4. We're writing the following using index notation again. It might be easier to write down what the number 10 million actually looks like. It'd be 10 followed by six zeros. And because we're doing it as a power of 10, 10 would be the base number. And 10 has been multiplied by itself, 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 and then itself again. So that would be a total of 7, 10 to the power of 7. Lastly, we need to evaluate 3 to the power of 4. Evaluate means to work out. So 3 to the power of 4 would be 3 multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 3 again. So that we could see it a number of 4 times here. 3 times 3 is 9. Multiply that by 3 is 27. And multiply that by 3 again would be 81. On to the intermediate questions. There's a slight increase in difficulty. Write using index notation. This time negative 7 is the base number. And negative 7 has been multiplied by itself itself and itself again, meaning there's a total of negative 7 to the power of 4. Don't forget to use a bracket here to show that it's negative 7 that's being to the power of 4, rather than 7 to the power of 4, which has a negative in front of it. Work out the following. We're doing the fourth root of 81. This means we're looking for the number that's been multiplied by itself, itself, and then itself again. And this would be 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 times 3 is 81. So the fourth root of 81 would be 3. Lastly, we're on to the advanced questions, which are some of the trickiest types of questions that you can find on this topic. Find the following. Firstly, we have negative 1 to the power of 4. That's the same as negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Multiplying this by negative 1 will switch the sign back to negative 1 and then multiplying it by negative 1 again will switch the sign back to positive 1. Next, we're looking for the fifth root of negative 32. That means we're looking for the number that's been multiplied by itself, 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 and then itself again, meaning we would see this number a total of five times within the calculation. The way we would get 32 is by having 2 in all of these, and the way we would get negative 32 is by having negative 2. So the answer is negative 2. Lastly, we have 1 quarter to the power of 4. This would be the same as 1 quarter times 1 quarter times 1 quarter times 1 quarter. 1 quarter times 1 quarter is 1 sixteenth. Multiply this by 1 quarter again would be 1 over 64. And timesing by 1 over 4 again would be 1 over 256. Before you go, have a look at the solution that I've provided to some questions similar to the intermediate questions. Pause the video, see if you can spot some of the mistakes that have been made and tell me what they are in the comments or see if you can do some corrections. Thanks for watching. If you found that video useful, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment. If you're struggling with maths or finding topics difficult, you can subscribe and turn on notifications to receive regular updates about new video tutorials. Don't forget to visit my website adammathstutor.com for a full searchable list of all topics with exams, questions and solutions. You can also visit me on social media using the handle at adammathstutor on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook and Twitter. All links in the description below.